Hey YouTube. I hope you've had a great summer. Mine has since come and gone. I did post a video introducing you to my new grandbaby Owen back in June and it's August. I start back to school tomorrow and I'm actually going into the classroom today, but I don't have any students. So I decided I wanted to show you my classroom, do a little classroom tour. So come along. You know what? I also want to show you our dining room. Chris and I did an update to our dining room. I ordered a couple art canvases for this wall so because it's bare, but uh, I'll do a little before and after photo so you can see what it did look like. The walls were rust. Colored. I am happy with it. Come on, let's go see my classroom now. Okay, so the school's empty, so it's a little quiet in the hall. But here is my classroom. And it says, look who's in our room and has all the kids' names on owls. And here's my classroom. So when the kids come in, they, they have bedding boxes because they take naps here. We are in preschool and they have backpacks. So they walk through and hang up their backpack and then they have to go and put their supplies away in their cubbies. And then I do not use pencil boxes in my classroom. I find that they are too distracting and become toys. So each table, I have 24 students and each table gets a caddy of supplies and they only have the supplies when they need them. Um, I I'm very excited about implementing this lineup system. I usually tell each student to put their feet in a square <laughs> and they have a number where they go to line up ex uh, except for the line leader. And I only do six jobs and I have an Excel spreadsheet where I rotate these out and I have a flag holder, a greeter, a calendar and weather helpers line leader and a door holder. I do a linear calendar because they just think better at this age in a linear format. And we graph out our weather monthly and then we talk about how many sunny days versus how many cloudy days. I have a dramatic play area for the first month of school. We're just gonna have a little grocery store uh, kitchen, home, and grocery store where they can just shop and I still got to put my labels up. I have found some of the cutest dramatic play centers on Teachers Paid Teachers. Um, my favorite was our post office, but I look forward to the, doing that once a month. We have our brightest work wall. So once a month we will put up whatever work it is that they have completed and are proud of. This is just a play area. I do not do centers. I will have a literacy time and a math and science time. And when they're finished, they can grab a toy and go anywhere in the classroom and play quietly, <laughs> unless it is actually recess. Uh, so this is the teacher corner and our birthday wall. So each child has their crayon in the designated birthday month. I have a teacher aide with me with 24 kids. Jamie is a good friend of mine and she will be with me this year and I'm looking forward to her. So I got her this little Miss Jamie plaque. Um, we have carpet time and smart board. So all the kids are seated in a way where they can all see the board and see me. And I have a weekly focus wall. So we do letter number, shape, and color of the week. Shape and color are by month, but letter and number are by week. Uh, let me turn this so I have on. a visual daily schedule, and these are Velcro, so they can come on and off and switch. Kids are always wanting to know what comes next, Miss Kathy. So we only have a half a day our first day. Uh, but like I said, I do uh, literacy and math lessons daily. Uh, we do snack twice a day. 
recess, a lot of story times, but this will change. So um, Thursday we will have a full day. But I am looking forward to the first day of school. Something else that I'm implementing this year are mailboxes. So my aide is going to, all their papers will go into um, a mailbox and then she can stuff their folders at the end of the day for me and get them packed up. That way their cubbies can be used for just water bottles and lunch boxes and change of clothes and things like that. Not any loose papers. I think that's gonna, I think that's gonna go really well. I'll let you know. <laughs> So anyway, that's my classroom and I appreciate uh, any feedback you have, uh, any other teachers out there that have questions. I've been teaching preschool for almost 15 years now, um, but this is my second year at this school and it'll be my first year with 24 students. That's a lot of students, 15 are boys and nine are girls. So. Wish me luck. Bye.